of God. It's just wonderful, wonderful to be in the presence of the Lord and in the midst of you, his holy people. As Bishop Paul told us earlier, we have come to a wonderful place, a very serious place. I thank God I look back over the years of preparation and all the people that he set um, in my life to help along with this journey. And Amen. as it was just so divinely orchestrated, actually I can go back to a child. And I just thank God so much, the different ones, just like Bishop Paul just finished speaking about our brother, beloved brother, um, Jerry. But God is, God is just faithful like this. I don't know if people take time to assess sometimes how good God is to us. And Amen. Ever think mm -hmm. about our, our purpose? You're not just hurled out from some one place onto a planet and to figure things out. We have a loving creator mm -hmm. who will abide with us and live in us by spirit and lead us and guide us into all the truth that he is. And like he promised in this word, he'll never leave us or forsake us. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we keep going higher. I thank God for... My, for having a pastor to show me that this is an ascension life right. because it really, is. it really is and just like he warned you know you go up the higher you go up you run into a different intellect when it comes to mm -hmm. dealing with spiritual things but mm -hmm. it's never bigger than Christ no. yeah. 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 you know yeah. everything yeah. you need for the place he brings you all sufficiency is in the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. so we need to know that now we've come to an awesome place of responsibility over all these years. I looked at how God taught us. First, like Bishop Paul said, we grew up on these six steps to the throne. We need to know some things have been accomplished for us and as us. Because if we don't, we'll try to do what's already true of us and just waste a lot of time spinning our wheels in the earth. Amen. Then the Lord in the early years, he taught us about the tabernacle. It wasn't so much to learn what a natural people did in the earth, but see that tabernacle spoke to the Lord Jesus Christ in his fullness, including us. Every utensil, nothing that God told them to make was insignificant. It had a purpose that pointed to Christ Jesus' as head and to us his body. Everything in it did. All the ways of the spirit, all that we can look back on a journey and we can see those things. Well, then we learned about the, the different feasts. God said, I want my people to come to me, the males, three times in a year, and he's supposed to come to me. And we learned what all that meant, and that God wasn't being, um, it wasn't just doing any type of separation, but we learned later on that males spoke to the spirit and female to the soul, and that was a way of teaching. So when we come to the Lord, don't come before him empty, but come unto him. He said three times a year. So we looked at those feasts. We learned what they were, uh, major feasts rather, there were many more, but we looked at Passover, Pentecost, and Tabernacles. And we see here the same beautiful picture is again, the Lord Jesus Christ. And we find in the New Covenant, well, all that spoke to him because it says Christ, our Passover, was sacrificed for us. Then Pentecost, when Pentecost was fully come, here he came again in the spirit. The God, God is a consuming fire. What did they say? What did the observers say? Cloven tongues of fire, as it were. God spread himself. He could do that because he had an obedient son that had come into the earth and fulfilled the word. Glory to the name of the Lord. Amen. And this feast of tabernacles is him, but it's, his, it's Christ Amen. and his body Amen. coming together Amen. in his fullness. And then you end up going back, and you see these beautiful patterns in the Old Covenant. God always wanted unto himself a kingdom of priests, Amen. a royal priesthood, a holy nation that never changed. He facilitated that by bringing a lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world into the earth to identify in every way with man. He was crucified. He died. 
He was buried, he was quickened, raised, and seated. And as by the Spirit of God, Bishop Paul had us to just share that openly this morning from different ones. You see every step included us. Amen. Amen. You Amen. see that? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now we've happed upon a place. When I say hap, that when you hap upon something, it wasn't your intention, you, but you're on the divine guidance. You understand Amen. what I'm saying? Amen. So then we've happed upon this place of a Melchizedek priesthood. Now all those things we've learned over these last years, uh, we see some things coming, coming together very beautifully. There was a reason for them all because there's a lot of responsibility with this priesthood. This is where all the titles go out of the window. Praise God. I'm okay. gonna, yes, sir? Were you ready to record? Whenever you like, praise God as well. Mm -hmm. Amen. As well. Glory to God, yes. So then, we come to this place of a, of a royal, where we are royal priesthood after a different order. The Lord showed us the priesthood in the Old Covenant. We get over to Hebrews in the New Covenant. We find out that that priesthood did not quite do what God meant for it to do. And it tells us that, and that's where we'll start a little bit later this morning. But I wanted to bring us up, refresh us up to this point We've come to a place, it's not just to get knowledge now. Amen. We ought to have enough knowledge now. Amen. We are here to minister unto God and unto man. Right. Hallelujah. We have enough, when I say knowledge, it's not necessarily knowing thing, things in our intellect, but we've been equipped yes. by Amen. God, by Amen. His Spirit. So then with that, um, I'll just... We'll, we'll go on and continue, but I want you to have that in your heart, that we're not a group of people that just come together and have a little club over here, and it's us, that God has a, a, a representative in the earth. Amen. Amen. God's got his hand on a people, because see, what he can do in a people like we are, there's a witness to something that's a true mm -hmm. record in the heaven. Amen. Mm -hmm. That gives him a chance to be the God that he wants to be. Amen. Amen. Yes. So, we, I want you to hide that in your heart. So, we go to him now in prayer, just thank him. Master, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise for all that you've done for us over these years, how you blessed us, how you kept us, how you taught us. You brought us truly, just like natural Israel. You've borne us on eagle's wings. We give you praise, dear Lord. Father, as we study and, and learn the concerning the priesthood that we are by Christ Jesus. We pray that we would have ears to hear, dear Lord, and open hearts. And dear Lord, be true instruments of righteousness in this earth in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 So if you will, please turn with me to Hebrews 7. Hebrews chapter 7. And verse 1. Hebrews 7 and verse 1. We're in about the fourth or fifth lesson now um, about Melchizedek. So it says, For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him. Now, this is where I, I'm going to stop and review things God has taught us because we need to see some things. The priesthood that we are does not fleece the sheep. The priesthood that we are, we, the first thing people should get when they see us is a blessing. Amen. You see this? Mel, this Melchizedek, he met Abram and he blessed him. Now, you have to go back over to Genesis 14 to see what he blessed him with. What he blessed him with. It says he blessed Melchizedek, this is what he said. He brought forth bread and wine. See, Christ, Christ Jesus is the fulfillment of what that actually speaks to. But it didn't just break off a piece of bread and give him a cup of wine. 
he brought forth the essence of what that means. Amen. You see that? Amen. Let me show you something. Just You can hold something at Hebrews 7 because that's our base scripture, but we need to see something. He brought forth bread and wine. Go to 2 Corinthians, back over. 2 Corinthians. Chapter 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Let me show you something. And let's look at verse 10. I could have just read it to you. But you need to see it. Now he that ministered, verse 10, he, uh, 2 Corinthians 9 verse 10 says, now he that ministered seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food and multiply your seed sown and increase the fruits of righteousness. Well, my goodness, you get all this from, 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 from bread. You see that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. We need, we need to know this because of who this, who this king, who, who he is, who Melchizedek is. Now, while we're back here, you see that? You're going to end up now, this whole thing abounds to righteousness. Mm -hmm. right. That's why we say, you, you, a wafer and some grape juice is one thing, but but what the peaceable fruit of righteousness is something else, isn't it? Y'all hear yes. God? Yes. It said Melchizedek brought forth. He brought forth. It's, it's something about him that he can bring forth. But at the same time, it's, it's tied into what the Lord Jesus Christ did for us and as us. So we'll know. That's why when you get the Holy Ghost, you got a guarantee. Yes. That's why it can be guaranteed. You see that when God guarantees something, how is it going to fail? You? Amen. Amen. You see that? Yes. Amen. Yes. And he's the Praise earnest the of an inheritance. Amen. He's not the fullness. Y'all, please hear God. Yes, Lord. I hope I can get through this without crying today. Amen. Amen. Ephesians, if you will, please, chapter 2. Listen to something. Ephesians chapter 2, we'll start at verse 11. Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by that which is called circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenant of promise, having no hope without God in the world, but now in Christ Jesus, ye who were sometimes were far off are made nigh, how? By the blood of Christ. You see that? <laughs> but now, I'm sorry, verse 14, for he, what's the next word you see? For he is our peace. What'd you do, Jesus, who have made both one and have broken down the middle wall of petition between us, having yeah. abolished in the flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, mm -hmm. for to make it himself of twain, one new man, so making what? This whole thing about peace. making peace. Yes. That he might reconcile both them to God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached what? Peace. peace. To you, which were far off, and to them that were not. Now let's go back to Hebrews 7. So we can continue. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. We read verse 1. Hebrews 7, verse 1 said, For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him, Verse 2 says, to whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all, first being by interpretation, king of righteousness. Did we just see that? Mm -hmm. You minister mm -hmm. bread, mm -hmm. seed to the mm -hmm. sower. Mm -hmm. What you going to get? You, you, not only do you have bread for them, but it's going to end up in what? Righteousness. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So, by interpretation, king of righteousness, and after that, also, 
king of Salem, which is king of peace. What did the blood do? What did the blood do? Made peace, isn't it? So when it says Melchizedek brought forth bread and wine, he brought back, brought forth the power of that lamb slain. See, in spirit, it's stuff already done. Amen. And if we'd be a lot further ahead if we quit waiting for stuff to be done that is done mm -hmm. and be obedient sons and just believe what is done Amen. and let God minister through a people what is done. Amen. See that? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So then, here, here then is he brought forth all that what Christ did speaks to, right, to Abraham. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what I'm trying to do every time we come together. Amen. I'm trying my best to do that. I'm trying to let that priest, the priest of the Most High God, I'm trying to let that fulfilled word that Jesus Christ became minister through me so you can be blessed because anything else is not going to help you. Amen. You see that? Amen. Anything else won't help you to, as far as the priesthood is concerned. We can have seminars and that kind of stuff and, and feel good stuff and you'll think you fixed, but later on something come up and then it'll still be broken, but this will be everlasting. You have the yes, green Lord. suit on. Mm -hmm. Amen. See that? Yes, Lord. You won't have the one look like the dirt. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a camouflage was still right. dead dirt, right? You have the right uniform on. You have life. You put on life who Christ is. Blessed be the name of God. So then, I'm so glad that we see this. How many remember what Jesus said? When he was, before he was what? Before mm -hmm. Jesus was crucified, before Judas sold him out, what was mm -hmm. he talking about? What was he doing? Let's let's go. Mm -hmm. You can hold something here if you want to. We'll, 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 I need to I need to show you. This is a teaching mm -hmm. ministry, so Amen. I had to quit apologizing for mm -hmm. moving mm -hmm. back, and, back and forth. You see that? Mm -hmm. What did what did Jesus say? Matthew's gospel. 26. This is a good little way to remember things. I don't know how you learn this. You're probably a lot smarter than I am, but I get a little little formula. So 26, 26. That's what <laughs> Matthew 26. 20, and we'll start at verse 26. Now, listen, listen to what, what, what happens here. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 26. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and what? Blessed. 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 Is that a hallmark of this priesthood or what? Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. It starts out doing Bless. what? Blessings. Blessing. Yes. Don't ever forget that. Mm -hmm. Blessings mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. Doesn't beg you, it blesses. Right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And break it and gave it to the disciples and said, what? Take eat. Mm -hmm. This is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them and said, Drink ye all of it. For, <clears throat> for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine. Somebody hear God now. Mm -hmm. Until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Right. See that? Hear what he said? Mm -hmm. All right. So then, let's go to Romans chapter 14. Mm -hmm. the Bible, why don't you just read it to us? Yeah. No. Look upon it. Look upon it. Behold the hand. Mm -hmm. Romans 14. Now he said, Jesus just finished saying over there, but I say unto you, he adds that. You know, this fruit of the vine, I will not, under, what I'm not going to drink it anymore until I drink it what new mm -hmm. in my mm -hmm. Romans king. Yes. Romans 14, 17 reads, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Well, that's what we just finished saying about Melchizedek. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We learned that when you're talking about this, this priest, that you're also talking about the word of God. Mm -hmm. Because when we go back to Hebrews 7, mm -hmm. let's go back, that's our base, Hebrews 7. All right? 
We stopped at verse 2. It says, to whom also Abram gave a tenth part of all. First, being by interpretation king of righteousness, and after that also king of Salem, which is king of peace. Now here's where I'm going. Without father, without mother. See, Jesus is made a priest forever after this order. You see that? But you can't say this was Jesus because Jesus has a father and a mother. You see that? So then, what would fit, what would fit verse 3 like we talked before other than the word of God? That's why John starts out, John happened to be a, a gospel that is a picture of the deity of God. It starts out, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So you get over here, and someone is being described, and it says, without father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning of days, nor end of life. And this is what has been set right in the heart of the church that we are because we're in Christ Jesus who is our high priest who is our head and was made a priest forever after this order. Right. You hear yeah. that? Yeah. Even though, he, now listen, even though it says all this about him and ends that verse with but, but made like unto the son of God. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> Word. Abided a priest. How long? Continually. Continually. Mm -hmm. Then you go to the revelation and you read, well, what, what did Jesus do by his shed blood? We already know he made peace. Mm -hmm. We already know that. But he also did something else. He's made us kings and priests yes, unto God. That's what Father always wanted. He Amen. said that back Amen. all the way in Exodus. Way back. <laughs> I will have unto myself a kingdom of priests. You see, if, if people understood who we are, the precious body of Christ would be handled so differently. You know that? If you looked at old covenant priesthood, and it was imperfect, but all the priests, they, they worked by course. So you never had to, you never had to worry about the service of the, of the sanctuary it ever stopping because it just kept going because there's a people that's making it keep Amen. going. It wasn't this terrible breakdown like you have today. It wasn't this confusion like you have today. Amen. Well, we got a new order, so we need to do something new. <laughs> I'm running things now, so we'll do it this way. No, God had a set order, and you just had a different, Amen. you call it, 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 it was a, a course, yes. a priestly course. So when the next course came, they knew exactly what to do. It should not be when somebody leaves, nobody knows what to do. Right. All of you are kings and priests. Anybody should be able to get up and minister Christ unto anybody, anywhere, anytime. Yes. If, if that's not happening in ministry, something is dead wrong. Amen. And I do mean dead wrong, because Amen. if life was in it, that's right. you wouldn't have that. You see that? Glory to God. So I hope this, I hope this is really helping us. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord yes. Jesus. When we were we were uh, back over in Romans. You, you can listen if you like, if you, in case you've moved from there uh, back, to, back to Hebrews 7. I want to, it's just one more thing I want to want to bring out of that Romans uh, chapter 14. I stopped at verse um, 17, but it's, it goes on to say, verse 17 again says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God. <laughs> See that? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And approved of me. Mm -hmm. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for what? Peace. Peace. That means the word is working in you. Mm -hmm. The fulfilled word that Christ is is working in us. And things wherewith one may what? Edify. What you gonna do? Edify another. Mm -hmm. Well, do you see righteousness in that? Mm -hmm. When you edify something, isn't it built up? Yes. Isn't righteousness something that's upright? Somebody please hear God. Amen. You see this? Thank you, Lord. Wonderful. It's just wonderful. Yes. Now, see, this is what, what we just had presented to us. That can never be accomplished outside, listen now, of the fulfilled word of God. Mm -hmm. So if you're someplace and somebody waiting for God to do something, 
then you you will never walk into what's true of you. Amen. You see that? Yes. What we just read is fulfilled. Mm -hmm. That's why when you get over to uh, into I think it's First Corinthians chapter eleven, and they've got a problem when they come together. They they're eating and drinking, and Paul says, "Look, I I've given you some examples of some things." Mm -hmm. And, and you, can't, you can't eat and drink unworthily because I showed you the example that, that the Lord showed us. You know, mm -hmm. that this, this was his body. You, by now you need to know this is speaking to righteousness. Amen. And this is speaking to peace. He said, if you're hungry, eat at home. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> People are not reading that scripture quite right. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. There's something that I've, I've taught you something, and you should you should have the spirit of it, not the literal part of it. Amen. You're coming together. Some of you eating, eating and drinking so much, you're actually getting drunk. Go read it. Mm -hmm. You're actually yeah. getting drunk off the wine. That's not that's not what that was Amen. for. Amen. If you had the spirit of the word instead of doing it literally, that would never Amen. have happened. Amen. Somebody, Amen. please hear God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The Lord is here, Bishop Paul. Yes, amen. Amen. Anybody don't know it? The Master is here yes, right now in the midst of us. Amen. The Lord is here, Mother. Yes, the Lord is here. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Blessed be the name of God. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Anytime the, the anytime the witness, the, the record is recognized and, and is doing what God said it would do. Hallelujah. You have the whole power of heaven behind that. Yes. The Lord is in the midst of us. Amen. 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 Bless his holy Lord. name. Yes. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank yes, you, Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Lord. We looked at the last time we came together and then we studied. We saw this this priestly ministry that we are is a ministry. It, what is it? It's a ministry of perfection. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see that? Yes. It said, it, 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 there's a challenge here in, in Hebrews 7. If you go to Hebrews 7, you go down to verse 11, it reads like this. It said, if perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, mm -hmm. for under it the people received the law, what further need was there that another priest should arise after the order of Melchizedek right, right. and not be called after the order of Aaron? Right. Amen. I'm asking you preachers, when you're preaching, preaching law, how are you going to make room for the priestly order of Melchizedek? Amen. You see, you may not, Bishop Paul, <laughs> and that's the truth. Hallelujah. See that? Yes. Then we saw one other place, this word perfection. God's not joking here. Amen. This word perfection, remember we went to Luke's gospel, and we saw it, how many remember, when Mary yes. went to see Elizabeth? Yes. Yes. The Spirit of the Holy Ghost filled Elizabeth. What she do begin to prophesy. Amen. A key word was the Lord. All the things that God spoke to you, He'll do what? He'll perform it. Yes. Yes. And that word perfection and perform were one and the same. Only to two places in in New Covenant. See that glory to God. Amen. This is already is already performed if we're in Christ Jesus. Amen. See that. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Yes. Already performed. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We know we're a priesthood with a purpose. Amen. We're peculiar Amen. people. Amen. Remember that? Yes, Lord. Peculiar. Yes. People have used peculiar to do all kinds of things with your Amen. carnal self Amen. and call it God, and it wasn't, and you know it. You see that? Peculiar doesn't mean that you're acting all strange. What? Remember what we said? Peculiar means that wealth is shut up inside of you, yes. somebody here, God. Amen. Treasure. Amen. Mm -hmm. See that? Yes. We have this treasure in earth and vessel. What other treasure would you think would be if it is not the Lord Jesus Christ? Amen. Amen. But you never know that. You never know what that treasure is if yes. he's always put off from you yes. and put for a later time. Yes. Peculiar means that there's a treasure shut up in you yes. and a treasure shut up in me. Yes. Blessed be the name of God. A kingdom of priests. Even you get a new covenant. Peter tells us the same thing. A royal priesthood. Right. A holy nation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Master. What are we supposed to be doing? Show, show them forth the praises of God. That's getting easier for us, isn't it? Yes, amen. Show forth his praises. Listen to the testimonies. Listen to the offerings. Notice I said, listen to the offerings, not do them. Listen yes. to them. Amen. Listen to them. Something has, has, has been what? Spoken. Amen. Because what? This Melchizedek priesthood, the Logos is in operation. Glory to God. Amen. The fulfilled word is in operation. So now we got something to say. Blessed be the name of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
Now I want to show us something else. We looked at what a priest what well, is rather. We said in the old covenant, you find one meaning. That this, this priest is one who stands up and draws nigh to another. Well, the intention is to mediate mm -hmm. on a person's mm -hmm. behalf. If not, you get to the new covenant, the same word, just means something to minister. Mm -hmm. So what you you when you when you bring that together, you got somebody that's gonna bring God and man together. Mm -hmm. A true priest. Mm -hmm. Think about it sometimes. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, especially if you had contact with people, you say, well, did anything I do today bring God and man together? Praise mm -hmm. God. Just ask yourself that. Mm -hmm. may not be every day, but you, if you can't do something physically every day, you sure can pray. Amen. Yes, Amen. You hear that? Yes, yes Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. We sure can. We certainly can pray yes, for one another. What else did we say? A true priest like we are now will never, ever pro approach God solely for himself. Right. Right. Amen. Never. Amen. Never. Praise I told you all, I said, I remember, sometimes y'all have to bear with me. You have, if you don't mind, bear with me. I told you all, I said, over when we, before we moved over here, it's been some time ago. And I kept saying, well, anything we ask God for, it ought to benefit the kingdom at large. Amen. If you're just asking for Amen. yourself, something is wrong with that. Remember I start telling you, now Amen. listen, mm -hmm. he put that in my heart. Now he, that's working in me. Praise you see God. that? Yes. That is working in me, but it's always, already been there because he will always tell. One thing I knew from the start from this ministry, you don't peddle anything out of here. Amen. 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 If you can't bless Amen. somebody, then stay at home. Amen. You see that? Somewhere, somebody ought to be blessed along the way. Right. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Right. Glory to God. So that 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 Amen. now we're learning as children of obedience, this ministry does what first? The first thing he yes. did was met Abram, <laughs> and then what he do? He blessed him. Yes. Met him, and he blessed, blessed him. Yes. Blessed be the name of God. Mm -hmm. So always remember that. I want to take you, as, as wonderful students of the word, if you don't mind, I'll take you to Old Covenant and I'll show you something glorious. Amen. And then I'll let you go if you don't mind. Zechariah chapter 6. Zechariah chapter 6. God is good to me and to you. To Amen. us all, his children everywhere. Amen. He's good. When he shows me something, I want to show it, share it with you. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind. Zechariah chapter 6. And let's see. I'll start. Zechariah chapter 6. And I'll start at verse 9. How about that? Mm -hmm. Zechariah 6, verse 9 says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Take of them of the captivity, even of Heldai. Now, these names are going to be important to help us, okay? Mm -hmm. They're going to be very important. So if you need a copy of this message later, just let me know. And I'll make sure you get them or if you're not taking it up. Even of the captivity, who are you going to take? Of Heldai, of Tobiah, of Eliah, which are come from Babylon, and come thou the same day, and go into the house of Josiah, the son of Zephaniah. Why is this important, these names? Heldai means worldly. You hear that? Very important that we follow this right now. Tobiah means simply this, God is good. Eliyah, Jehovah has known. And what were they supposed to do? Jo Josiah's name means that God is righteous. See that? Uh, Zephaniah, God is treasure. Now it says, take silver and gold, make crowns, and set them upon the head of Joshua. I'm sorry, not Josiah. Meant, meant righteous, it's Joshua. Then. Of Joshua means what? The Lord saves. Joshua is the old covenant name for who? Jesus. 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 Right. And the son of Josedek, the high priest. Listen, speak unto him, saying, 
Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Behold, the man whose name is the branch. Y'all hear that? And he shall grow up out of his place and shall build the temple of the Lord. Well, you crown Joshua, Old Testament name for Jesus, the high priest. And it's talking about another who's whose name is the branch. But what's, what about this branch? He shall grow up out of his place. You hear that? It's going to be important. Mm -hmm. Even he shall build the temple of the Lord. This is so important because this the word branch means sprout, but it means this family. A branch shall bring forth a branch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hear that? Amen. Does that kind of make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse, verse 13 says, Even he shall build the temple of the Lord, and shall he shall bear the glory, and shall sit and rule upon his throne. He shall be a priest upon his throne. Listen, look up at me. If he's a priest upon his throne, is he a king priest? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's the ministry Amen. that we have in Christ. Yep. That's who he is, a king and a priest. Yes. Yes. King, priest, minister. Yes. And, and it, it says, and the council, listen now, mm -hmm. the council of peace, you hear that? Mm -hmm. Shall be between them both. Mm -hmm. Bishop Paul, what I see in this is mm -hmm. something the Lord told you through a sermon. Mm -hmm. well, well, what the Lord told you himself. So when you see me, mm -hmm. see yourself. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Joshua the high priest mm -hmm. is crowned. Mm -hmm. See this? Mm -hmm. And then, but you, it's something that you speak to the branch, mm -hmm. and the branch is growing out of his place. Mm -hmm. I see him. I see him every time we come together. Mm -hmm. I see the branch growing up in this church. Mm -hmm. I see the branch growing up in ministries all over this earth. Bless his holy name. Mm -hmm. it, he's growing up out of his place. Mm -hmm. How's he going to grow up out of his place if you don't open your heart and receive him Amen. for who he is or got to put him off forever? You see that? Mm -hmm. he, he, is, he grows out of his place. Verse, um, verse, <coughs> uh, verse 14 says, and, well, before we go to this, it says, he shall be a priest upon his throne, and the counsel of his peace. Okay. Don't forget this. We're not getting away from the Melchizedek order. Righteousness mm -hmm. and peace mm -hmm. shall mm -hmm. be upon mm -hmm. them both. Mm -hmm. Stay right here. I won't move you. But I'm going to read you something. I won't even quote it. I'm going to read it to you. You know this by now. But I'm going to read it to you. But praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 4. Hallelujah. But speaking the truth in love, this is one of those places where I'm reading after a semicolon. So you may want to read chapter 4 in your devotion. Mm -hmm. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things. You hear that? Mm -hmm. In all things which is the head, mm -hmm. even Christ, Amen. the branch. That's us. Right. We're growing, he's growing mm -hmm. up out of his place because mm -hmm. he's growing Amen. up in, in, in the yes, spiritual Lord. body. Right. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Right. You call him the body of Christ. You call him 42nd generation. You, but I'm telling you, we're talking about a holy people right. unto the Lord. Amen. So they went back over to Zechariah. Lord, Chapter 6. Amen. She shall be called the Lord our righteousness. That's, that's, that's hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. Amen. Verse 14 of, of Zechariah 6 says, And the crowns shall be to Helen and to Bia, yeah, yeah, and to Hen, son of Zephaniah, for a memorial in the temple of the Lord. But did you notice a change? Mm -hmm. How did this start out? This started out with somebody named Heldai, who meant worldly, and now he's not mentioned here anymore. He's been replaced by somebody. Else. See God, see this, see how good God is. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He, that Helen's name means it means. 
two, that's got two many meanings. Not only strong and healthy, but it also means to dream. What'd you say? What'd you tell us, Bishop Paul, this morning? God showed you something profound in a dream. You see this? If you're worldly, you're not going to see spiritual dreams. Spiritual things. You see that? So, Helen replaced, one healthy and strong replaced the worldly. Tobias still there. Job is good. That's not going anywhere. And y'all still there. God is known. He knows all things. But here's somebody else in here now. Hen. Hen. Mercy. Favor. His name actually means favor. Grace. How'd that get here? By Jesus Christ. But the Bible said crown it with many crowns. It's not just saying something to be saying it. That's the thing that bothers me. Scriptures will say things and people just, oh, well, that for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> but we can know. Yeah. Jesus said it's for you to know the mysteries if you follow him with the so that we know him. See that? So then, we see this beautiful change here. But there's a change that's so profound in, in this whole thing with this change from hell die to hell that I need to go to the prophet Isaiah and let you see it. Isaiah chapter 38. Isaiah 38. I love, I don't know how I feel about <laughs> Isaiah. <laughs> Isaiah. I tell you. Isaiah 38. I'm not going to read a lot, just a few verses. I want, you to, I want you to hear something. Because this word, what Helen's name means, is uh, it has a different translation in Isaiah that we need to hear. So we'll start reading in Isaiah 38, verse 15. What shall I say? He hath both spoken unto me and himself have done it. I shall go softly all my years in the bitterness of my soul. O oh Lord, by these things men live, and in all these things is the life of my spirit. So wilt thou recover me and make me to live. You see this word recover right here? Which means restore. That's Helen. That's one place dream is translated that his name means. Y'all hear God? Hear the difference in what was worldly it's now strong and robust in the things of the spirit, mm -hmm. fully recovered yes, with so. life, fully mm -hmm. restored. You see that? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Look, you hear, hear it say, it said, you know, I'll bring him, bring him my old, he'll give me that which is new. Mm -hmm. Something to that effect. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what we just read here. Mm -hmm. Blessed be the name of God. It goes on to say, Behold, for peace I had great bitterness, but thou hast in love to my soul delivered it from the pit of corruption. We're talking about this recovery, <laughs> this restoration. Mm -hmm. But thou hast cast all my sins where? Behind mm -hmm. thy back. Mm -hmm. Find them. But finally, mm -hmm. well, people won't believe this. But you, you preach the gospel and you show them all the time. Mm -hmm. We're delivered and blessed in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you crown him, that means you've given everything to him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then he can be stowed mm -hmm. upon us. He, he can show us by his spirit that he's, he's recovered all for us and adds us glory to his name. He says, he goes on to say just a couple more verses just to give you the whole part of this. Verse 18, for the grave cannot praise thee. Death cannot celebrate thee. Mm -hmm. They that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. Mm -hmm. The living, the living, he shall praise thee. Yes. As, listen, as I do this day. Yeah. The father to the children shall make known the truth. That's what he's doing. A lot of us have been duped, or whatever you in your culture you call that, mm -hmm. been deceived. Mm -hmm. 
by an enemy, a crafty enemy. It's something else when you go to a house of prayer and you're looking for answers and the enemy is standing up delivering the word to you. Amen. It doesn't get any more subtle Amen. and crafty than that. Amen. Do you hear that? Amen. The verse 20, the last verse we'll read. The Lord was ready to save me, therefore we will sing my songs to the string instruments all the days of our life in the house of the Lord. Where'd you get some songs from? Praise God. He said, we'll sing my songs. You got some songs from somewhere, didn't you? Yes, Lord. How did they come? By, listen, by enlightenment, experience, truth. Amen. See that? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So then, I hope this helped us to really continue to further grasp the power of the fulfilled word that we are, we are kings and priests after the order of what this word, all this word means. And by Christ Jesus, <laughs> all things are fulfilled in him. So, I, I give you today, I bring forth to you today Christ Jesus, Amen. righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. You see that? You got favor, you got what? That's in. Amen. You got joy. Amen. So I bless you. Amen. I don't have anything for you but a blessing. Amen. That's all that is said in my mouth. Amen. It's a blessing for you. Be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. Oh.